hi <laughs> so what's up my name is Shani. thanks so much for tuning in today i'm going to talk about the 10 things i learned in 2019 and i've been gone for a while like for all my long time subscribers yo what's up i missed y'all like i need a I missed me too. I missed being on here too. Like for real. Like these past few months, especially, even though I've been working two jobs, like especially since I've been working two jobs, like I, I need like my I need a creative outlet. Like, I need I need my like creative juices to flow. So yeah. So thanks so much for tuning in. We're gonna talk about the th ten things that I learned in 2019. Um, and this is all comes from all the experiences that I've experienced this year since I've been gone. Y'all gonna y'all gonna get a little taste of what I went through since i've been gone so um yeah thanks so much for tuning in if you're a new viewer if you haven't seen this face before um make sure you hit that subscribe for, um, button first of all leave a comment um at least leave a comment you know talk to me you say something whatever but um uh yeah thanks so much for tuning in we're about to get right into the video whatever so this is i'm a friendly <laughs> person i'm bubbly i'm outgoing but the number one thing i learned because it bit me in the Okay, was to stop trying to befriend people that I meet at work. Like honestly and truly, <laughs> like I went through so much. I got maybe I'll tell y'all some stories later on because I got a lot. Okay, um, but yeah, stop trying to befriend everyone you meet at work. Um, you know I can my personality can be a little contagious. You know I I can I can make friends easily, but a lot of people are fake so and that goes on to number two the people who work at retail honey they're fake okay like yo i said i went through so much crap this year y'all not this year but like for like a few months um in the beginning of this year for a few months like from january to april but it was a whole bunch of bs a whole bunch of just bs just do what you gotta do at work and go get that bag that's it that's it hi bye don't even say yo i remember after i learned that lesson i wouldn't even say hi to people i would just do what i gotta do leave like i, I would even be like hi bye you know how people be like do just do what you have to do just say hi bye yo i wasn't even saying hi bye at one point i was just over it like i was over it i just wanted to make my money and leave like for real three is not ugh. Not everything needs a response. Let people talk or do their nonsense or whatever. And that's something that I learned within those experiences from like one and two, to be honest. But, but um, yeah. And also, you can keep your comments to yourself. Yeah. Like, I, I, you know, I talk. I talk. And my friends know this. And even to like this year, I really, I really like, I guess because uh, one of my jobs was like, well, is. Is, is being like a salesperson so i've really learned how to keep some comments to myself sometimes some things aren't necessary to say to be honest that's something that i'm still learning i just got a mouth on me okay i just need to control my mouth <laughs> so <laughs> not everything needs to be said okay like but this that's something that i'm really like this year i really started to truly work on this year honestly because my mouth be crazy like i'll be saying whatever so yeah and seriously not everything needs a response when you're in like drama with people or whatever or people or really honestly it's their drama and they want to bring it to you and like you're not starting drama. like me i wasn't starting any drama but like they have ideas of you you know and they think of something like you don't have to respond to that or try to prove yourself to anybody just you know chill let people talk their ish and just do you like not everything needs a response. You don't need to defend yourself all the time. Just breathe, cool it down, and just let things flow how they should. Let people do what they want to do. Because even if you do, even if you are, like, a good person or whatever, people are going to think whatever. Like, it doesn't matter. So, at the end of the day, their opinion does not matter. <laughs> so, yes, that's facts. Okay, five. This is something that I really learned this year. Like, I heard about it so many times, but it never really clicked until this year the main thing that i learned is that confidence is attractive that's the main thing confidence is attractive like there will be the some guy like honestly or a girl like she may not be the hottest girl he may not be the hottest guy but if he holds himself or he or she holds himself to a high standard or just the way he carry he or she carries himself like you're it's gonna even if he's like a six that confidence can like boost him up to like a nine because he's confident like 
he believes in himself and that's gonna make other people believe in his beauty in his inner and outer beauty too or whatever and all that stuff so yeah it's just confidence is it's confidence is sexy okay i still battle with my confidence self-esteem and everything because i've been bullied for years like years um well i had been had been bullied for years throughout all my school years and even through college i wasn't well, i was bullied a tiny bit but it was more so like i was ignored so because i was always like that fat friend you know all the guys wanted my friends they didn't want me so anyhow <laughs> so there's something that i did and i had to check myself on um honestly i'm gonna have like a confidence video coming soon uh and i look and i and i looked back at myself and what i was doing and i was like that's not cute like why am i doing that like that's not good at all so it's something that i have to, I have to constantly check myself for well with what well, about yeah i have to check myself about because um i've done this i've been doing this a lot i do this a lot actually that's not good um and it's because all the people who have bullied me they were all guys um even guys that i had like little crush on they would bully me okay let me get on with it so last week i was at the gym i was at the gym and i was passing this guy who was cute but i put my head down like i was like i just put my head down passing him i do that a lot and that's not good like it's really that's not good um like i never look at but now i'm starting to because i remember the other day i was at work honey <laughs> I was at work, you know, and, and it was this fine boy who came. <laughs> he was doing some little, he was returning something for his mama, honey. And I was, like, that day, I was like, you know what, let me get it together. And then I was, like, looking at him in his eyes. I wasn't shy. I was, but a week ago, I was, like, I did that a lot. And it's not good. Like, when I walk by certain dudes, I just, I'll just look at the ground, like, as I'm passing by. Like, look down, which is not good. Like, you're, as a lady, and I always hear this quote, you know, when you walk, walk with your head high, all that stuff. It's a, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing when a woman does that. Don't put your head all the way high, but like, you know, because your neck might hurt, but <laughs> be in your skin. Be comfortable. Look like you're comfortable in your skin. Okay? Seriously. So... Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, what I did wasn't attractive at all. It was, it wasn't cute. Like, just walk in and then when you see a cute guy, you just put your head down and just walk past him. I don't know. That's that's just weird. Like, I didn't need to say anything to him, but like, I do that. I've I've noticed. Like, I've realized that I, in the past, I've done that a lot. And now, like, starting last week, honestly, I'm st I'm really checking on myself on it and like not to do that because that's not good. But anywho, I guess this is six. So this is a this is something that I, I learned a few months ago. So a guy, I mean I knew this, I've heard about this last year, but I really experienced this crap like a few months ago. A guy will make time for what he wants. If he wants you, you'll know automatically. Like you'll know. Like okay, so for me, for example, I'm gonna put my business out there. What it is. Anyway, so I met this guy online on an app like in August and we talked for a while like we were talking for a while and we're from the same pretty much from the same town or maybe he's like from the next town over but we live within a five mile radius from each other so he close so um yeah so we were just talking we talked every single day um we always well in the beginning we talked about meeting each other um but it just never really happened um my my point is i feel like a lesson that i learned is like okay if a guy wants to meet you wants to see you, if he's serious about you i feel like he should be able to like meet you and go on a date with you within a month you know a month of y'all talking within a month or less like honestly or or two weeks you know within a month like if it's like if you've been talking to this dude every day and it's been a month and y'all haven't seen each other just cut them off like honestly like if it's been more than a month already y'all haven't seen each other yet and y'all live close to each other but y'all talk every single day just cut them off because he's wasting your time like he's just wasting your time so that's something that i learned i don't know why i carry to three months looking like boo boo the fool but whatever oh this is this is a huge one being busy and productive are not the same okay they're not the same so they can be the same but they're not always the same so i this is for from my experience to be honest this is something this is like part of my self-reflection honestly because like i said earlier um like i said earlier 
I've been working two jobs lately these past few months and I've just been busy, 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 busy. But I haven't really been productive. I haven't been, you know, focusing on myself and my goals, the things that I want to do. So I wouldn't say, even though I've been working two jobs, I wouldn't say it's productive. Well, for one of them, it's productive. For the other one, it's not that productive. That's why I'm thinking about leaving it, but I'll do it soon. I just need to focus because I really need to focus more on my goals and the things that I want to do. I'm with this YouTube channel, with my career careers, for the jobs that I want to have and all that stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. And that's pretty much all. That's pretty much about my 10 things that I learned this year in 2019. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you have, if you learned anything from this year, um... Or if you can relate, seriously, just drop them in the comments. Uh, and that's all I gotta say, really. Thanks so much for watching, and do some. <laughs> I miss doing that. <laughs>